Hi, and thank you for joining me. I'm Teresa Crawley with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today, I'm so privileged to be able to in introduce you to the new 2024 Newmar Essex. We are currently at the 2023 dealer meeting, getting to see all the new reveals of what's new for the 2024 lineup. So we're just able to give you a little glimpse, but please give us a call if you have any questions about what's new and what the options are this year. You are seeing uh, the new color for the interior, which is called San Remo, and the Sedona Glazed Maple High Gloss. We also have some new exterior colors, which we'll get to when we get out there. Um, a lot hasn't changed this year, but a lot has stayed fantastic um, this year as well. So one of the things that you may have noticed when you walked in was these gorgeous windows. Now these are bonded windows. Now what that means is they don't have little clamps holding them in. They're actually part of the structure of the bus. So um, they're not gonna rattle over time or have any issues with squeaking and things like that. So it's a much quieter window, but it's also gives you just the biggest, most beautiful view that you can get. Um, over here, we have optioned in a uh, theater seating. Now, these are really nice, really soft, supple leatherette, and of course, they do recline quite far, so you can get quite comfortable in these. And then we do have, it just keeps going. We do have some storage in here, place to put your remotes and things like that as well. Of course, as always, we have our TV directly across and that is on a button. So you can have that tuck away when you aren't watching that TV and then you can see more of that beautiful view outside. We still have our awesome Bose sound bar in here so you can get a great um, sound experience when you're watching a movie or something. Um, because we have the theater seats here, this is also going to be a sleeper. So we have a tri-fold sleeper here, and I love the styling that they've done. Um, almost like a 50s look, but again, timeless and beautiful. Moving into the kitchen, some of the appliances has changed in here. They're not going to be using um, the GE Advantium anymore. We've gone to all Bosch um, for our appliances except for our dishwasher. So we do have a Bosch convection microwave oven, of course, you can cook in there. And then we also have a Bosch three burner induction cooktop. We still do have the cutting boards on the opposite side of those covers. So that's very useful. But the great thing about this Bosch um, three burner is that each of these burners are gonna have the same output. So it's not like the small one's gonna be weaker than the other one. So I thought that was a really nice upgrade there. Nice lit bla uh, side splash or backsplash to keep the stuff from getting on your sofa there. Now going around you'll see that we have two nice size sinks here um, and these Faucets have been upgraded this year with a two-tone brass and stainless steel. I just think that's really lovely. We've got a nice pull out here so you can reach all the stuff in the back of your shelf. And then lots of storage down beneath. They've included a little trash can, a place for a recycle as well. And another pull out that you can put your washing um, soap and things like that. Great spice or junk drawer in my opinion. And then over here a little bit more space. And then next to me here you'll see that we have kind of a beverage serving center. This is a wine refrigerator. It only goes to about 40 degrees. Um, chilling, so you're not going to want to put beer in there. But if you're not a wine connoisseur, this um, can not be optioned in, and it would be a really nice size storage cabinet. So it's not just a waste of space for those of you who aren't wine drinkers. Um, of course, when you do option in the beverage center, you get these glasses that come with it as well. And some more space up there that would really fit some large size cookie sheets. 
On the opposite side here, we have a nice size pantry. And you'll notice that everything lights up when I open it. Um, these drawers also will lock into place when they're stowed. And some room down there for more of those long items. Keep them from banging together and make noise. Now, this refrigerator is the largest refrigerator that you can get in a motorhome. So that's quite a lot to say. Um, it is a Bosch and we have the water and ice in the door here. So it's 21.6 cubic feet. I'll open it up so you can see what that looks like. And then your freezer here as well. Now on the Essex, there's also an external fridge freezer, which I will show you when we get there, but it's not an option. It's included in all of these. And then we have another cabinet here that could be used for linens or as more pantry space, just depending on what your needs are. Now directly across, you'll see we have our half bath with this sneaky door that Numar does. And the reason that they do that door is because when the slides are in, it gets to be a tight, tighter uh, hallway, so it makes it a little easier to get in there. But this is your half bath. You'll see that your mirror is lit, and there's lots of little nooks and crannies there to hide things. And then just outside the door, you'll see that we have our central vacuum. So this is where you plug in your hoses to do a more traditional vacuum. And then on this side, you have your sweeper plate. So you can just sweep your debris right up to there and it'll suck it away. Um, when we get down to the underneath uh, bays, you'll see um, the actual mechanism where you change your filter and you can also use those vacuum hoses down underneath and get it clean under there. So one thing that did change this year is that your Silverleaf monitor has moved from above the driver's seat to right here. And it's a much more convenient spot for this, um, just because when you're driving, you can't really stand up and get to it. But people, passengers can get to this um, while you're driving. Um, still pretty much the same thing as it was. It is um, got your power loads. You can start your generator or program your generator to start and stop at certain um, specifications. Your water, your climate. You also have floor heat, three different modes for that. We have three air conditioners on here as well. And then we also have the lighting controls for the whole place. Also your shades, so you have day shades and night shades, they're all powered. So when it's time for bed, you can hit all down for the night shades and you'll be good to go. You can also start your vents here and put out your awnings. So going back into the master bedroom, we of course have a privacy door here and going into the master bathroom. Really beautiful, I love the high gloss on this wood here. And then of course a king size bed. On either side of this bed also we have cell phone charging stations. So if you just set your phone on that little black circle it will actually charge it for you. And overhead, we've got lots of storage, of course, but Numar does something that I don't think anyone else does, and that's that they put 110 outlet back there. So you can put a sleep apnea machine or anything else that you needed. Also, you can put your tubing right through. They make a little hole here, so you can put tubing or cords through this area here and not make a cluttered mess of this area. We also have another one of those light panels right above there, and I'll show you um, what the light panels do. It's a little bit different than the silver leaf system in that it's a little bit simplified, but these are sprinkled throughout the coach and they just have separate lighting controls in here as well as your TV lift and your shades and your fans, um, monitor panel, etc. So you have this over your bed as well as throughout the coach, but the silver leaf again is here and it does a little bit more as far as starting generator and things like that. So across from the bed, of course, we have more storage. Um, these both open up and they are, this one I would say is made for your audiovisual equipment, cable boxes, DVD players, etc. Samsung flat screen TV and then just more shelving over here. You also notice that all the shelving has this really great 
um, kind of a felt carpeting, and that's going to help with vibration. Also, so things aren't just moving around like crazy. And then we have six of these size drawers. So two, um, four, and then six. And then right here, you'll see this is an emergency exit door. And normally they tell you don't open and close your emergency exit window, excuse me, um, just because they want it to stay intact for whatever. This one is actually meant to be opened. And it has an attached screen so that you can get some really good um, fresh air in here. So that's a really nice feature. And it's not hard to do, just easy. Um, this coach also has an optioned in security system. If you're seeing these little white things, that's motion detect and things like that. Now going into the rear bathroom, really beautiful shower. Those beautiful brass knobs and shower head. We of course have the shower miser system in here too. And what that does is recirculate the water until it's warm enough for you to decide that it's ready to come out rather than just letting it go down the drain. Here we have another hanging closet, cedar lined, and we've got a place for shoes, hats, etc. And then three of these drawers. This one's a little bit of a faker, but you can put some little things in there on either side. And then a little bit of space underneath as well. I love how everything lights up right away when you open it. And we have three of these pullouts, and these are of course all soft close drawers. Beautiful vessel sinks, two of them, so you don't have to fight over who gets which. And then we have these really nice medicine cabinets on either side too. And they're deeper than I thought they would be when I opened them, so you've really got a good amount of space on both sides there. Over next to the toilet here, we've got another hanging cedar lined closet and we do have a safe in there. And another shelf down below that you could put quite a bit of stuff down there as well. And Numar of course is famous for having these emergency exit doors. Just very, very convenient to get in and out of if there were some kind of an emergency. And right here, this has changed this year as well. We've gone to a Splendid washer and dryer. And underneath here, we do have a little drawer for detergents and things like that that you might need to keep close by. All right, I think we're ready to check out the front. So one other thing I wanted to point out about the cabinetry is that we have what they call in the construction industry, unitized construction. And if you can look at these cabinets up close, you'll see that it looks like a seamless piece of wood when it's actually three separate pieces that were sanded and put together to look perfect. Normally this is something you'd only see in a residential application, but Numar does everything better because they want to. They do better quality, they do better work, they take a lot of pride in it. So you'll notice little touches and you might not know, why does this look so good? Well, that's one of the reasons. So up here in the cockpit area, we have heated and cooled with lumbar support uh, driver and passenger seats. Um, this uh, passenger seat was upgraded to what we call a queen seat. So it's a little bit wider, so you can put both of your little dogs with you. It also was upgraded to have the massage feature on both of these. So that's a nice thing that you can have added if you want. Um, this of course is built on the Spartan K3 chassis. It's a 605 Cummins um, horsepower. And we of course have all the niceties norm that we normally would have, the Hadley air system, um, we also have, I don't want to forget anything, so I, want, I brought notes. We have mobile eye, we have on guard collision mitigation, lane departure, and blind spot monitoring. Um, up here, 
So it comes, this comes standard now with two lithionics um, lithium batteries. Um, and that's going to give you 640 amp hours. Um, and what that does is it'll shut itself down when it's at about 10% uh, capacity, um, just so you can get the generator started, get it home, etc. Um, so it has an auto shutoff feature, and there is a restart in the basement area with, you know, with the batteries. But Numar has added a restart right here as of this year. So you can just retouch that there and that'll start your batteries back up. And then you can decide how you want to charge those from there on out, whether plugging in, running your generator, etc. The other thing I wanted to point out was that you have a Samsung tablet included in here. And that's essentially going to be your Silverleaf system on a tablet. It's only for close by um, applications. You can't take it to Kentucky and have your coach in Colorado and work it that way. You can do that with your MyRosie app. But this tablet, can you can do it from your bed or anywhere else and not have to get up. So it's just a, a little nicety, a little convenience for you. Um, I think we're ready to go outside. So we have five new exterior colors this year. This is the Versailles. We also have Alnwick, Edinburgh, Chantilly, and Annecy. I think this is a lovely neutral. Um, we have optioned in a TV and Bose soundbar. But included now, we have these push button door openers. And that is so convenient when you don't want to have to bend down to open the, the hatches on them. Um, this is that fridge freezer that's programmable that I was talking about earlier. So it comes quite far out. But you can just use this for beverages or you can stop at Costco and fill it with hamburger, whatever you want to do. You can make it whatever temperature on whichever side you want. And I love how these doors close now. You'll see, I don't have to do any slamming. They just suck themselves right in. So that was all I had to do. Then moving through, you'll see that we have powered trays that come out. Now the beauty of these is it's really hard to reach the middle of your coach. So this is going to save your back and you're able to utilize all that space way under there that you wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. So I'll show you how far this goes out. And if I were on the other side of the coach, it goes out just as far that way. So you can use it all the way to the end, which I think is great too. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Newmar brand, they add to their chassis rail what they call the star foundation. And it's something that's hard to explain. You can see the braces down here. That's what these, they kind of look like a V. They're welded to the chassis rail, but they give you a lot of stability going down the road. Over time, that's going to help your slides or your um, slide outs to stay intact, to stay tuned how they should be, not to sag or droop. Um, but it also keeps the coach while it's traveling from bending and twisting down the road. What bending and twisting does is it pops your tiles and it loosens up your components in your coach, which contributes to things breaking, yes, but also a lot of squeaking and annoyance. Um, but these are some of the smoothest riding coaches you'll ever experience, and that's part of why. So I just wanted to point out that is the star foundation. If you'd like to learn more about that, Numar has videos on it that explain it in a little bit more detail. We have one more slide out tray here, and this is that vacuum I was explaining earlier. So you can actually plug into there and vacuum out these um, bottom storage bays. They also include some extra tiles there for you in case you happen to break one later on down the road and you'll make sure they match perfectly. Now this bay door is a tool chest because there's a big water cabinet behind it. So there's not a ton of storage, but they figured it'd be better to use that much space than just close it off completely. 
We of course have a steerable tag axle on these and that's going to make your turning radius much nicer. It's also going to make it a smoother ride because you have that tag axle. This is your deaf fill. There is also one on the other side and you can fill them both at the same time. Save you time at the pump. And then back here we have your air dryer system and your chassis batteries. This particular coach has had a lot of things added for towing a stacker trailer. So um, we of course have our Kurt Spectrum brake controller back here, but we have some other things that wouldn't normally come standard on here. We do have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. And then we also have really great access to our engine here, which again is a 605 Cummins. So we have a side radiator, so that makes getting access to that engine much easier. You also might notice that there's a camera kind of lower on the coach than it normally would be. That is the 360 degree camera system that is included in these Essexes. It's not even an option, you get it. And basically it looks like you have a drone hovering over you as you're traveling down the road. You can see all the way around you, which of course makes it a lot safer to drive this thing. This is that emergency exit door I showed you earlier. So you can see it's really not that far down and it does have a ladder um, that does drop down in there, but I just want you to see it's a lot better than trying to get out of a window. This is your other death fuel fill or death fill. I'm gonna try to get down here and show you these things as well. So over here we have your water bay. We have a whole house water filter. We have a macerator system. And this is all stainless steel and this is etched in. So over time, you're not gonna lose track of what did that say or if you were to ever sell this coach, you'll know how to explain what all of these things are. The other great thing, we have a power rewind water reel as well as our 50 amp cord, which is in the next bay, is powered as well. So when it's time to put it away, you just push that button, it sucks it right up for you. You don't have to get your hands too dirty. And here's your 50 foot, 50 amp cord, as well as your surge protector with transfer switch. This is your Oasis dual loop Chinook system. And if you don't know what that is, it is your continuous hot water or tankless hot water system. It also is your furnace for the coach. So the great thing about this, it's in the basement. This basement is extremely well insulated, but if you have that running, you're not gonna freeze your basement out or your water lines. That's gonna keep you safe. But it also provides a cleaner burning, more efficient way to heat up your coach than previous brands or years. This is just the other side of one of those trays. And another one here. And this is where we have those two lithium I lithionics batteries. So there's this year there's an option to put a third lithionics battery in here. Um, with these two standard ones, you get two 3000 watt inverters. There's also a reset back here, as I was explaining earlier, but there's also one inside. This coach also has optioned in four Xantrex solar panels that are 110 watts each. And then we have dual fuel fill on this coach as well. So you can fill your diesel tank both sides at the same time, save you time at the pump. And the last bay, mostly breaker, but also this is how you get access to your 12.5 Cummins Onan generator. It's on a hydraulic slide right here, which is on a button. So you don't have to 
crawl under the coach to service it, etc. Really nice front cap. So again, my name is Teresa Crawley from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions about this or any of our other Numar products, we do carry the full line. Please let me know if you have any questions as far as what's an option, what's not an option, and how soon can I get one. All of those things I'm more than happy to let, let you know. Give me a call.